Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 63 of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI Advance, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I did a fair amount of training in my magic, and I bought a lot of Falcons to turn into flame shields. And I turned those flame shields into ice shields. The way I was able to do it is I had to take on this enemy over here called a Metal Hitman. Only 2,000 HP, and if you got Zented Zuken with Master Scroll, you can dispatch it quite easily. Okay, as for Beast to take on, just to get some better stuff, now that I got plenty of Flame Shields and Ice Shields, while I was in the Veld to get some more Rages for Gao, I ran into another Behemoth King, and got two more Behemoth Suits. Seeing as how Realm and Strago are the only two that can equip them, they're practically useless all the way. That said, why don't we turn them into snow scarves? I got Terra equipped with the uh, safety bit just in case he gets she gets hit by instant death. Problem solved. So that's one snow scarf. Snow scarves are very, very great defensive pieces of equipment. The only problem is only Gao and Ma can equip them. All right, I'll explain. Okay, actually, Umaro can equip them too, but you can't really access his equipment anyway. It halves fire damage and can absorb ice. Not only that, it has a defense value of 128 and a magic defense of 90. That is very, very high. As a matter of fact, we're going to put that on Mog right now. Look, he's at 255 defense. In the back row, he's almost invincible to physical attacks. I mean, 255 is the highest you can go. I'm gonna save, just to make sure I get the other one without any problems. I believe my next destination is gonna be the, the Cultist Tower, but I wanna get that other Snow Scar first. You know, just in case I forget it later. Where's it to? Ah, ah there it is. Uh-oh. Oh, good, I blocked it. Ah, Sloga. I don't want you to use physical attacks, Terra. And it didn't even work. Come on, do it. Good, nice block. Unfortunately, Dispatch can still connect. And that's an instant kill move. Terra, are you going to do anything? Or are you just going to sit there and waste time? She's just going to sit there and waste time, isn't she? I cannot believe that. Look, look at this, this is awful! Look at finally! You made that count! And you're using up some of the uh, transmitter, too. I'm not impressed. Not to mention I picked up some more animal suits from those enemies in Owser's place. Which again which I can then eventually turn into Genji armor. But I'll do that later. First, let's head, head to the Cultist Tower for real this time. And I got Mog with me in case I need Malulu's charm. But I think we're actually going to take on the enemies here. Bringing Gogo is not a bad idea either, but I did not do that. So I can care less about Gogo. No offense. Okay, as for this place... Master Scroll will not help you here. It just will not. What will help you out a lot is Reflect Rings. In fact, I might not want to take Realm after all. I might want to take Strago. He would seem like the better option. Because, I mean, sure, Realm can double my gill and whatnot, and her Cat Ear Hood comes in handy. The thing is, like, I'm gonna need a healer, and with Reflect Rings on, I will not be able to heal in battle. I'm gonna need someone that can actually heal outside of battle, and take it from there. I'm gonna put Mog in between the two girls, because he seems so awesome. Poor Strago, forever alone. Okay, currently not my party, good. Okay, as for Celeste for now, I'm gonna take that curse shield off. 
We'll use it again later. Put on the Thunder Shield. And put the Magus Rod on you. Everything else should be alright. Can you put on Force Armor? No, you can't. No, I, I think this is pretty good. I think I'll stick with that setup. Mog is close to gaining a level, so I put Gilgamesh on him. So I can level up his strength a bit more. Not that strength is going to help you out in the, the Cultist Tower. I keep calling it the Fanatics Towers, because that's what it was called in the Super Nintendo version. So now it's called the Cultist Tower here. The thing is, the reason I want Reflect Rings on everyone is because the enemies here use magic. Simply, they use magic. In fact, only you can use magic too. Having Reflect Rings on allows you to bounce back their attacks onto them, which will really help you out. Okay, I think I'm just gonna leave an empty slot. I'm probably gonna go with safety bit. I got that kept on Terra. Yeah, Mog will have that on. You have a Reflect Ring on, too. Strago, you definitely need one as well. Good thing we got barrier piercing spells like Grand Delta and Ultima Tot. Ultima is pretty much going to be your most powerful spell. No exceptions. Do I want anything else on Strago? Probably just an earring. I probably passed those. Yes, I did. Okay, I think we're good to go. And if we run into any trouble, we'll have Mog put the Malulu's charm on. Thing is, I can't really teleport out of this place. So I have to walk all the way back down if I want to leave. Okay, so now we got our first bit of enemies. Level 30 magic. They tend to use level 2 elemental magic, and they're quite easy to dispatch. They tend to counter a lot, though. Pretty much every spell they usually counter. And I think these are weak against poison, so use bio. Most enemies you can probably kill with their own attacks, if you got the reflect rings on all around. Sadly, three out of those enemies have Reflect on as well, so you're gonna have to bounce the spells off yourself and then onto them in order to do some damage. Oh, this one has Reflect on. This could come back to haunt us. There we go. Huh, problem solved. Kill themselves. Now, it doesn't look like you can gain experience here at all. Just magic AP. Up oh, here are some new enemies. Level 40 magic and level 20 magic. Level 20 magic is one of those enemies that are inherently reflective. Banish or break off yourself will do the trick. And as for level 40 magic, try Thundaga. That'll do the trick. Ah, gravity managed to connect. Oh, it doesn't look like Strago can use his lures either. I'm just noticing that now. And that's weird because, like, lures are magic. That makes no sense. Uh oh. Yeah, these guys are very dangerous by themselves because of that. About to break off myself. Hopefully it connects. There we go. What? If that fails, use Ultima instead. At least that's barrier piercing. It can't be reflected back. I'm gonna try not to use Ultima too much because it is a very overpowered spell. With Terra's magic very high, it's just gonna be overkill. Well, there goes Strago's plan of using White Wind. I'm gonna have to do all my curing and healing outside of battle. 
So if I'm running really low on health, I might have to use potions or something. I don't have to worry about those treasures because I got them all in a previous video. Therefore, all I had to do is just go all out on these guys. I'm not gonna have Mog do anything because his magic is not that strong. There, problem solved. That didn't take too long. Yeah, you're gonna be seeing level digit of 10 magic from up to 10 all the way to 90. Trust me, 90 will kick your ass. I'm not kidding. Nope, there's a new one. Level 10 magic this time. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take them all out with an Ultima. I'm not gonna risk it with that level 20 magic by itself. I know what it's capable of. Level 10 magic ain't too bad. It just uses basic magic. Like level 1 elemental spells. It's that bad. Good thing everybody got Osmos if we're running really low. Duh, I'm already reflective. So is that level 20. There we go. Oh, we get an ether. Not that we'll need it. Does Drago need to learn any new spells? Oh god. Uh, yeah, I'll teach you Flare while we're up here. Should have thought of that since we're not gaining any experience. Okay, if I remember correctly, there was a dragon hanging around, not on this floor, but on the next one. Oh, here's some new enemies! 50 and 60 magic! Oh yeah, I forgot to put Quake on, uh, uh, Float on. Should've done that. Is that Quake's gonna do a... Yeah, a lot of damage. I'm gonna use a Raise on the level 50 magic, because that will kill it. I have to use a Rise on Strago to bring him back. It's kind of a pain in the ass if they counter every single spell. And I mean almost every single one, too. Look, you're practically going to be seeing counters all the time. Non-stop. Level 50 is undead, like I said before, so a ray spell will take it out. Quake, I'm gonna have to worry about a lot. Oh yeah, I forgot Mog was dead too. Celeste, you're gonna have to take him out with Ultima. Oh, Tornado. Oh good, everybody missed. The one thing I hate about Tornado is that while it's an offensive wind spell, it targets your entire party as well. So nobody's safe from Tornado. There, now we can get everybody back. And before we continue on, I'm gonna be casting Float on everyone. So we don't have to deal with Quake again. That's a good thing and a bad thing about the Reflect Ring stipulation. Is that your curing magic bounces off you. Alright, I took some ribbons off and put earrings on instead for that extra magic boost. So now let's continue the third set of climbing. This is gonna be fun. Great, now we got that again. Uh, yeah, I'm better off with Terra using Ultima to fit start and finish this off. Alright, I believe level 70 and level 90 are also reflective. Just thought I'd warn ya. I 
think this is the climb where I find the Holy Dragon. Yep, it is. Figured as much. Alright, let's go take on another Legendary Dragon. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! An encounter right next to him! Alright, I'm gonna start this off with stop. Bounce back. Should work to take care of its attacks. Now I'll just finish it off with Ultima. With both Terra and Celeste. That should be enough. More than enough. One step away from the Holy Dragon. Thanks. Alright, so now let's take on which is probably the easiest out of those dragons. In fact, you can keep bouncing Holy off of yourself and onto him. The only problem is it heals him. So you're better off casting Silence. And then, well, go all out. Luckily, Dispel will not work. Well, except for the float part. Yeah, it'll be using Holy quite often. Or I'll just use Flare. Mog, you're not going to be doing much, so... Should I use Hastiga? What if that gets bounced off? Ah, let's give it a shot. There, once you silence the Holy Dragon, he can't do anything else. Remember, it's magic only. Therefore, he's completely nullified. That said, you pretty much got a one-sided fight on your hands. He doesn't have Flare yet, does he? No, he doesn't. I'll have to use other spells then. Yep, yep, you can't bounce off haste to go. So Holy Dragon's gonna be moving a lot faster. Not that it matters, he can't do anything. Probably use this turn to use Osmos now and then to get my magic back. Eh, you too, Mog. And then we'll start attacking. Consider this a chance to get back your MP that you've been using. I don't really need to use Ultima, so Flare will be good enough. Well, practically any spell with Terra or Celeste is good enough. Because they're already quite powerful with their magic. So just a few shots and Holy Dragon will go down. Or just one shot. The funny thing is that the Holy Dragon is the only one of the Legendary Dragons that will appear on the Velt. It gets a little harder because its physical attacks are now able to be used. But it is a nice Rage, you can get it, get it for Holy. Oh, well, now Straggle learns Flare. Oh, we get a Holy Lance too. Okay, they made you get the Holy Lance after the fight, because if you tried fighting the Holy Dragon on the Velt, you can't really farm for Holy Lances. There, I can cast Holy upon striking an enemy. Not to mention, you can bet Science Mirakumo to get another Holy Lance, so now everyone can have one. Well, the ones that can use Lances anyway. Oh, still a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Up oh, here's level 90 and level 80 magic. And here comes a flare that's not going to do anything. This is pretty much where I'm going to be using most of my Ultima spells. In a place like this. Because it is nice to have some very powerful magic that can bounce off and hit everyone. Asuna, that's not going to help me. I don't have any ailments. I figure this would be a good time not to have anyone equipped with a Cursed Shield. 
I was trying to like level it up off footage so that I can probably turn into a paladin shield. But it is taking its sweet time, of course. Hey, nice shot. Thanks. I, I don't remember how many battles I've had to take out the curse of the curse shield. But let's just say I have a long way to go. In fact, I still have a long way to go to get to the top of this place. Okay, that's taken care of. Let's get healed. Well, actually, Mog is the only one that needs healing. Considering he was the only one without a Thunder Shield. And Meltdown hit him. Remember, Meltdown is fire and wind and hits everyone. Ooh, that Meteor hurt everyone real hard. Sadly, nobody has Meteor yet. The only chance we had of learning Meteor at the time was with Odin. Which, of course, we turned into Raiden, but don't worry, we can still learn Meteor from another Esper later on that actually teaches it much faster, like at a 10x rate. Alright, let's continue. I think we made it to the top. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next part, we shall get the treasure that's on top. Goodbye, everybody.